Did you know that ice skating originated over 4,000 years ago in Finland? Picture this. Folks gliding across frozen lakes, their feet adorned with sharpened, flattened bones strapped to the bottom of their shoes. It wasn't recreation then, but a necessity for survival. Over the millennia this practical mode of transport evolved into the thrilling sport and beloved pastime we know today. From bone blades to polished metal, ice skating has indeed come a long way. Now, isn't that a cool start to our icy journey? Before we dive into the history, let's first understand the basics of ice skating. Ice skating is a thrilling sport that involves gliding across an ice surface on blades fixed to the bottom of boots. It combines elements of athleticism, grace, balance, and speed, making it a captivating spectacle and a thrilling activity to partake in. There are different types of ice skating, each with its unique charm. First, there's figure skating, a blend of artistry and athleticism, where skaters perform jumps, spins, and footwork in a choreographed routine. Speed skating, on the other hand, is all about velocity, where skaters race against each other on an oval ice track. Ice hockey, a team sport, combines skating skills with puck handling and shooting, while tour skating involves long-distance skating on natural ice. Now let's talk about the essential equipment needed for ice skating. The most vital piece, of course, are the ice skates, Designed for different types of skating, the boots and blades vary. Figure skates, for instance, feature a set of toe picks at the front of the blade to assist in jumps and spins. Speed skates, conversely, have long, straight blades for rapid movement, while hockey skates are designed for maneuverability and control. It's also crucial to wear appropriate clothing, something warm yet flexible, allowing for a range of movement. And don't forget safety gear, like helmets and knee pads, especially if you're a beginner or playing a contact sport like ice hockey. Now, on to the techniques. Ice skating may seem daunting at first, but the key is balance and practice. Start by learning how to stand on ice, then progress to moving forward, gliding and stopping. As you gain confidence, you can start learning more complex maneuvers like backward skating, crossovers, and even jumps and spins. Remember, every skater, even the Olympic champions, started with these basics, so don't be disheartened if you stumble and fall. Ice skating is about perseverance, practice, and most importantly, having fun. Now that you know the basics, let's go back in time to learn about the history of this fascinating sport. Ice skating has a rich and interesting history that dates back to ancient times. And when we say ancient, we're talking thousands of years. The earliest known ice skates were found in Finland, and they date back to around 3000 years BC. These were made from animal bones, specifically the shin bones of large animals like deer or elk. These bones were flattened and polished to create a smooth surface, and then punctured to allow for leather straps that would secure the skates to the wearer's foot. These bone skates weren't used for recreation or sport though. No, they were a tool for survival. In the harsh winters of ancient Finland, ice skating was an efficient way to travel across frozen lakes and rivers, much faster than trudging through the heavy snow. Fast forward to the Middle Ages, and we see the emergence of iron-bladed skates in Northern Europe. These were a significant upgrade from bone skates, providing better control and stability. However, they were still far from the sleek, performance-focused designs we see today. The skates were strapped onto regular footwear, and the flat, broad blades made turning a challenge. It wasn't until the 19th century that we saw the invention of the single-blade skate, and with it, the birth of figure skating as we know it. This revolutionary design was created by an American, E.V. Bushnell, who replaced the flat, broad blade with a narrower, curved one. This made it easier to perform spins, jumps, and other maneuvers, paving the way for ice skating to become a sport. By the end of the 19th century, ice skating had become a beloved pastime in many parts of the world. It had also evolved into a competitive sport, with the first recorded ice skating competition taking place in England in 1849. The sport continued to grow in popularity, eventually making its Olympic debut at the London Games in 1908. Throughout the 20th century, ice skating continued to evolve, both as a sport and a recreational activity. The introduction of artificial ice rinks made it possible for people to ice skate year-round, regardless of the weather. Meanwhile, advances in skate design and technology have allowed skaters to perform increasingly complex and impressive maneuvers. In different cultures around the world, ice skating has played various roles. In Canada, it's a national pastime, with many Canadians learning to skate before they even start school. In the Netherlands, long-distance speed skating on natural ice is a beloved tradition. 
and in countries like the United States, ice skating is a popular winter activity, with many cities featuring iconic outdoor rinks during the holiday season. From a survival skill to a beloved sport, ice skating has truly come a long way. Ice skating is more than just a fun activity. It holds a significant place in our culture and society. Let's delve into how exactly this sport impacts our world today. At the heart of it, ice skating is an excellent means of staying fit and healthy. It's a full-body workout that strengthens the heart, improves balance, and boosts flexibility. It's also a fantastic way to burn calories. Skating at a moderate pace can burn up to 300 to 600 calories per hour. So, if you're on a quest to get fit, why not trade the treadmill for a pair of skates? Moving beyond the personal ice skating also plays a pivotal role in promoting tourism. Many cities around the world host seasonal ice rinks, drawing crowds of locals and tourists alike. Whether it's the iconic rink at New York's Rockefeller Center, or the picturesque rink by the Eiffel Tower in Paris, these icy attractions contribute significantly to local economies. They not only offer a unique experience but also create a magical ambiance that's hard to resist. But the significance of ice skating doesn't stop at health benefits and tourism. It's also deeply embedded in our popular culture. From figure skating competitions that captivate millions during the Winter Olympics, to ice skating themed movies and TV shows, the sport has a way of capturing our hearts and imaginations. It's a symbol of grace, strength and resilience inspiring countless stories and performances. Moreover, ice skating fosters community spirit. It's a sport that can be enjoyed solo or in groups, making it a wonderful way to connect with others. From family outings to friendly competitions, ice skating brings people together, creating memories that last a lifetime. In essence, ice skating is more than just gliding on ice. It's a blend of art and athleticism that transcends the barriers of age, skill level, and geography. It's a sport that evokes joy, fosters connections, and promotes well-being. Whether you're an athlete, a fan, or just someone looking for a fun way to stay active, ice skating has something to offer for everyone. So, there you have it. A quick and fun look at the world of ice skating. We've waltzed through the basics, twirled back in time to discover its origins, and landed with a deep appreciation for its significance. You're now more than just a spectator. You're part of the narrative. Each glide, each twirl, each fall and rise echoes the rich tapestry of this sport's vibrant history. Next time you're on the ice, remember, you're not just skating, you're part of a rich and vibrant history. Until next time, keep skating and keep exploring.